With Label Mark 6 from Brady, high performance label printing has never been easier. And now you can import data from Excel and other sources in just a few clicks. Here's how. When you open the application, click on Create on the home screen and select New Label. For this tutorial, we'll be working with THT155 label material. So in the new window that opens up, type that into the search bar. The list below will automatically filter as you type, so select THT155 when it pops up. Now, we'll be in graphics mode for this label as well, so double check to make sure it's highlighted here. Then hit the Create button in the lower right of the application. In the navigation at the top of the window, click on Insert, and in the drop-down, select External Data. You can import from a variety of sources, such as Delimited Text, Microsoft Access, or any other OLE DB data source. We're going to be working with an Excel spreadsheet here, so click on the radial for Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, and then hit Select Source to navigate to your data source. I've got a demo spreadsheet created for this right here. I'll grab that and hit Open. Then we'll go ahead and press next, select the sheet and the columns we want to use, and then press next again. By default, all of the columns will appear on the label as text. You can see that here. Just remember that what you see on this screen is the general setup for the labels that will be created. So part numbers and reference are simply our column names. We'll use this view to set the layout. Use the select tool and the object properties on the left pane of the window to visually style your label design. I'll go ahead and change the font type and make part numbers bold. For the reference column in this demo, I actually want that to show up as a barcode instead of text. So I'm going to remove the text object for the reference column by selecting it and clicking here. And then we'll re-add that column as a barcode by selecting this radial and dragging reference from the data fields window directly onto the label. One of the cool things with Label Mark 6 is that we can easily change the code type. Look how quickly we can make this a QR code. Now that we're all laid out, we can hit Next, and the Data Placement window will open up. You can use it to really customize your print based on your needs. So if you prefer adding this data to every other label or having the sequence print horizontally or vertically, you can arrange that on this screen. I'm going to print every label and left to right, so I'll simply hit Next. With the setup now complete, you'll see the option to save the scheme if you'd like. I'll save it here as demo and hit finish. And there you go. We've imported all of the data from the spreadsheet and the labels are laid out based on the design we just created. The last step now is to select errors and information at the bottom of the application. That's going to let us know if there'll be any data drop off. Just hit check label for errors. And once that clears, you're ready to print.